The way a house and a home makes you feel, that is what's important in designing your home and that is what I love. It feels good. It has a feeling in it. I'm an interior designer, I'm a holiday property owner and I'm an online educator. And more importantly, I'm married to an amazing husband who's a builder and, and together we have four beautiful noisy boys. Whose idea was it to film? Wasn't, wasn't mine. <laughs> you want to start? <laughs> our goal was to create a holiday property with our own unique take on an Australian coastal home. Took a bit of inspiration from the Bahamas, a touch of the Singaporean classic style home and wanted to create a property that suited the New South Wales South Coast. I will talk with my hands. I've got camera shy builder. Oh, this is the perfect recipe. We're on. With a holiday property or your own home, you want to create a presence with your facade. You want it to stand out, but you also don't want to overdo it. The key to doing this is to create a cohesive design. And my biggest tip and advice I can give you here is when you're picking your exterior materials, you start from the roof down. So it starts with the type of roof material and colour you're going to choose, your windows and doors, your external facade material, down to if you're using timber decking, pavers, right to the details of your door handle or in a holiday property, it's your keyless entry lock. At the beginning of a build, it's always really exciting. It happens really fast. Here at the pause, before our eyes, it went from a block of land to literally a home. Now that the planning stage is over, this is when the fun starts. It all comes together so quickly. You've got to really work with your builder and trust them because as I said, it happens at such a quick rate. So once the frames went up, the windows and doors were installed. For us in this project, we've used the double hung windows by Stenbar. I knew that I wanted to have the black frames because I really wanted to go for that contrast with the white exterior and the white interiors. So the window frames become a feature of the space. It was around this time that the whole world was coming to terms with COVID-19. And in the building world, we just didn't know if we're gonna be closed down or not. So where are we up to in our project? We are building the pause in the pause. We are behind in schedule, absolutely. It's definitely been challenging though, the last couple of weeks because building has been affected. Being a holiday property owner, being in accommodation business, it's definitely taken its toll. So Ben's priority was to get the house secured because honestly, we just didn't know if it was going to come to a dramatic halt. If we get locked out, he's yeah, like, I'm going to clap the house. He goes, the boys can be my labourers, they can pass it up. It'll be really slow, he's like, I'm going to keep on going with it. We didn't know if it was going to be like, okay, that's it. We can't build for three, four months and everything stops. Or, you know, it was, yeah, it was stressful, but luckily the weather boards went up really quickly. Yeah. And before we knew it, we were at lock up. So when the cemental weather boards were installed, Ben was happy because he had a house at lock up and I could literally see my vision coming to life. I love the Balmoral weather boards because they've got like this, They've got this light grain and texture in the board, so it's got the look and feel of a real timber board. But as this is a holiday property, we needed to use materials that were low maintenance. So the fibre cement boards, they don't swell, shrink or crack, and they hold paint for longer. So the colour combination I wanted with the facade was black, white, timber and a touch of brass. I wanted it to have that classic feel. So when the weather boards were painted, that look came together with the roof. Then when the timber shutters went on, it just all worked. So 
So I believe that holiday properties, they need to have that holiday feeling for your guests from the moment they pull up out the front. So here at The Pause, I had to find a way to create that. The most important thing is, well actually, two most important things. My curved shower, then, and then I'm having the paws on there, and then my huge palm tree. So I had this vision of creating this curved wall on the front fence. It would function as an outdoor shower, but it would also become the feature wall where the signage would go on. I knew that it would be a win-win for guests who'd be able to take that Insta-worthy shot and be great for marketing as well. So I shared my vision with you of creating the wall with the shower coming up above. He just hears blah, 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 blah when I talk, but I'm like, yeah, but we can do this and this and this. And he, blah. And you were like, no, I don't. Did you get it? Yeah, no. No. Ben wasn't with me at all. The brickies weren't with me. And I'm like, trust me on this. And now when I look at that outdoor, like that wall, it just softens the whole building. The facade, it's really, it's really big. So it's like in height. So that curved wall, it just brings it back down in scale. And honestly, to me, I think that really brought the facade together. The final piece of the puzzle for your facade is the landscaping. Being a holiday property here at the Paws, it had to be low maintenance. And I think of landscaping as like the styling for the outdoors. We are so happy with how the house came together. The Paws demands attention. You know, as soon as you pull up, it just has that holiday feeling. All the details, they came together. And I know that when I arrive here, excuse the pun, but I'm ready to have a pause at the pause. That is so bad, I'm not saying that. <laughs> that went well. <laughs> what are we doing for lunch? <laughs> I'll see you next week. <laughs>